Hey there, I'm Daisy Whitney, and this is the new Media Minute presented by the National Association of Television Program Executives, and this episode is sponsored by The Platform, a media publishing system used by cable companies, mobile companies, and video sites at theplatform.com, and also by Digital Smiths. You can learn all about its advanced digital media tools at digitalsmiths.com. So you've probably heard of this little thing coming out any day now called the iPad. Let's use its launch to take the temperature on the ebook, magazine, and electronic publishing business. Ebook sales hit 169 million last year, a small number, but still up from 26 million in 2006, and that was pre iPad. Amazon, of course, has been the early leader, but that's going to change, says Credit Suisse, which predicts Amazon's share of the ebook market will drop from its current 90% to 35% over the next five years, with the market splitting evenly between Amazon, Apple, and who else? Google, which is rumored to be developing an e-reader or tablet as well. Now, how will the newspaper and magazine businesses fare on a tablet? Actually, not so well, unless they offer targeted and exclusive content, because that's the only kind of paid online news content that's done well at all. In a recent survey, the research firm eMarketer found that anywhere from 25 to 35 percent of consumers have been willing to pay for online news, suggesting that maybe consumers aren't looking for a new device to view magazines or newspapers on after all. They either just want them to be free or they want the content to be targeted, like the Wall Street Journal, Financial Times, or The Economist. That's the type of content and publications that have done well with subscription models. So when it comes to tablets and e-readers, the best bet for magazines may indeed be in advertising, and that of course is still a tough business. Maybe the future of tablets and e-readers then lies mainly in books. Overall, the Yankee Group predicts that the e-reader market in the U.S. will reach 6 million units this year in 2010 and rise to 19 million in 2013. Who will reap the biggest benefits? Amazon, Apple, and Google. Who else? Friend me up on Facebook or follow me on Twitter.